It's time to figure out our carb needs based on our energy or calorie requirements. Now, first we'll need to figure out how many calories are coming from our protein and fat. Now, because we know that there's four calories per gram of protein, and we also know that our 200 pound athlete is consuming 200 grams of protein, that means he's getting 800 calories from protein each and every day. We also know that there's nine calories per gram of fat. Our 200 pound athlete who's consuming 100 grams of fat is consuming 900 calories from fat. We add up those calories from fat and protein and that gives us 1700 calories per day coming from protein and fat sources. That means the remaining calories come from carbs. What remaining calories? Well, here's where a diet log comes in handy. And this is easy to do with most nutrition apps that you can find right on your smartphone. What you're gonna do is record three days of eating. You're gonna then average your calories each day. So let's say our 200 pound athlete is averaging 3000 calories per day. We're gonna then subtract out the protein and fat, which we already know, 1700 calories. That's leaving us 1300 calories to come from carbs. Now we also know that there's four calories per gram of carb. So that means our 200 pound athlete is getting at least 300 grams of carbs per day or 1.5 grams per pound of body weight.